So just heading off on a little bike ride now. It's amazing. So I'm in the middle of a housing estate here. I've mentioned it before about the area that they're building up and you can see the lovely little stream here. But just now, as I was pulling up along the side of the stream, a massive heron just flew off, flew up the stream. I must have spooked it, but it was obviously been right near me. Shame I didn't get to catch it, but um, just shows that even in the middle of a built up estate, you can still have the wildlife around you. These areas over here, all being built on. The part of the area I mentioned in a video I did that they're urbanizing so much of the countryside and here a little while ago that was a nice farm over there and um, horses and everything and now look derelict shame anyway off on a nice ride somewhere in the countryside going up into the mountains and the weather's stunning today so it's perfect for it so just good to get out now go meet my mates All right, so just pulled over now, waiting for my mate Scott, and then we're off to meet my other mate Chris. But just standing here in the sun, thinking, this is why I love being out on a bike. Out in the countryside, well, just on the edge anyway. Sun shining, and look what I got with me. Good thing is I'm not on my own. Can you see him? He's upside down. There he is, duck. But brilliant company when you're on your own. Anyway, look forward to this ride now. Just wait to, wish the boys would hurry up a bit. Right, as I'm totally bored, because I'm waiting for Scott, who's supposed to be coming from this direction, I thought I'm going to do something and, and tell you about what I'm wearing. Why would you be interested? I have no idea. But the reason I'm telling you is because I love this jacket. Have you ever heard of a buffalo jacket? Well, that's what this is, buffalo. Special six. Underneath, all you wear is the thinnest of t-shirts and you don't need anything else. So I got just an Under Armour thin t-shirt. But even in the coldest weather, it's amazing. The way it works is you generate your own body heat and it keeps it in there. It says not to have many layers at all. In fact, have the fewest or even wear it close to your body. I keep looking in case it comes. But this waterproof, windproof, perfect for the bike, swipe it down, lasts for years and years. A bit expensive, but brilliant. And also, nice big pocket here for your map, your phone, big pocket here for your gloves. And it's got something called Pertex. In other words, you don't get wet inside it, so if you sweat, it wicks it away really well. But what else it does, it helps me to kill a minute or two while I'm waiting for Scott, who is taking ages and ages. So I'm going to tell you about my trousers. Brand new trousers just bought. Insulated, waterproof, right? Breathable, got to be that. It's got these as well. Look at that. That so you can uh, get a bit of the air. Oh, I felt that then. Get a bit of the air in here to cool the trousers down. Perfect. And also, just in case it's wet, got my waterproof socks. Did it once, went on a bike ride before it. These are waterproof shoes, thinking, oh, I'll be fine with the shoes. The water ran off the trousers into the shoes. I was emptying the shoes. So now I've learnt my lesson waterproof socks. Gloves, Aldi special, I think they are. But all kitted out, new backpack as well. All I need is a friend to cycle with and I'm still waiting. Oh, it's getting on my nerves. Look who's just turned up. Hey, and there's it, me running him down thinking he wasn't gonna turn up and there he is. My mate Scotty. No, it's Scott. Eventually. Well, you might notice now, my mate Chris is here. At last. So we've got the gang together now. Come on boys. Here they are. Come on, Phil.
Now we're following the road up here, takes us to Astrid Munnock. Down here is Scott, who's in a real grump because I got a he's in a grump because I got a new backpack and he bought me a torch and I haven't bought him a backpack. So and Chris, here's Chris, and he's just grumpy anyway. Are you Chris, that's him. Anyway, well, he's having to. Well, anyway, look at this here. This we're following along this road is the old Brecon and Merthyr Railway and we're going to see a little bit more of it down there but just behind us is a fantastic viaduct that Chris said he used to play on it back in the 40s but uh, it's an amazing place where they stopped using it in the 60s but what a lovely place and look at that look at the countryside there so we've got another addition to the gang now here's Gareth and he's on his way what the <laughs> I don't know if you can see, there's a couple of buzzards just up there fighting each other. Can you see them? See if I can catch them. Amazing. The problem is, I've got my eyes on them. They're getting to look on the road. Look at that tree there. There's a sign of spring, isn't it? on his way hopefully not too long Pengoid so we, we're on the um, on the viaduct here it's incredible but so close to the house never knew it was here but what a lovely place isn't it take the camera over and have a look at this over there the views stunning ready to go. So we're just coming up this lane now, heading towards a mountain called Macken, but uh, in the distance, I'll uh, zoom in over there, in the distance we just come up this hill, don't know if you can see it, right, is it on that peak, is Penavan. The highest mountain in South Wales, but it's covered in snow. But uh, it's a nice ride up here.
this is coming down now towards Macken Mountain. We've just come from Mustard Munnock. But this hill, I remember climbing it, is a killer coming up. There's so much nicer coming down. But it's not so nice trying to keep all the windbreak and film at the same time. Especially with the slush on the ground. But the things you do for a little bit of film, innit? And over the distance there is Kapili. So we're kind of on the home stretch now. We've just come through the little village of Macken with the quarry in the distance behind me. And it's been a, a fantastic ride. But I was just looking over there. I took a drone up over there before and did a film of it. There's a house. Um, in the distance, I'll show you if I can. I'll turn it around. But in the distance, does that zoom in yet? There's a house over there. And that was used in a, a Sherlock Holmes film. And I think it's a 15th century Welsh manor. Absolutely incredible. And to go there is almost unchanged. They've not knocked it about. It's incredible. It's fat and small.